Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to attempt to turn our 9-card EVGA Spartan rig into a 12-card rig. Let's stop gabbing. Let's get into it. Spin that intro. Pew! Alright, alright, this is the Spartan 9 card EVGA for the win build that I made a while back. It is actually 9 EVGA 2060s, 2060 Super, 2070 Super, and one lonely 1660 Ti, all EVGA cards. It's on a beautiful Sluice V2 uh, triple A waves frame, and it has a Gigabyte H110 D3A old school motherboard that I've been using for quite some time, and as you can see, I'm using a splitter a one to four to get myself up to those nine. So how am I gonna make this old school board up to a 12 GPU rig? Well, we are going to do a couple things. We're gonna replace that one to three with this one to six. That will get me up to 11 slots. And then I'm going to add this M.2 adapter and see if we can add that 12th GPU. Here's what we're gonna add. This is a, another 2060 KO EVGA. That is a 2070 Super, and that is a 2070 Super. So those are about 42 mega hash each, and then this one will be another 30 to 32 mega hash to add to this rig. Now, will this work on this old H110 chipset? I, I don't know. It's working with nine PCIe lanes, so hopefully we can get up to 12. I'm hopeful, but I'm not so sure. We're gonna find out. All right, so we went ahead and made a space right here for this small 2060 KO. And then down here, we made two spaces. We regapped these cards, and now I'm gonna put one right here and another 26, 2070 Super right here. 2070 Super, 2070 Super. So it'd be another 84 mega hash plus 30. So it would be around 115 extra mega hash total once we try to tweak them up as much as possible. So let's go ahead and try to figure out if this is gonna work. I think the best thing to do is first we're gonna do the M.2 and see if it works. We'll put the M.2 adapter on and add the extra 2060 up here and see if that'll fire up. And then if it does and it recognizes, then we're gonna take the one to four splitter out and we're gonna put a one to six splitter in and then we're gonna reconnect all the cards one at a time. It'll probably realign them all and then they won't be the same in Windows and we'll have to retweak and retune. But hopefully I can get all 12 to read. That's the goal, let's go. All right, I'm not at all confident that this is gonna work, but there is the M.2 adapter with an extra USB plugged into it. And if this works, this will get me up to 10 GPUs in Windows. There I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, I still have the four in the next row that are all the supers, 2060, 2070 supers. Let's fire this thing up in Windows and see if we get a detection on that sixth card. Come on, Windows, you can do it. You can do it, Windows. Come on. Well, that's booting in, that's something. It's a good sign. Come on, Windows, you can do it. Find that card. All right, so the M.2 adapter was a complete fail. Could not get the 10th card to recognize. I had it hooked in fine and Windows still booted, but Device Manager would not find this guy. Went into the BIOS, checked and tried. About an hour later, I gave up on that method. So we're gonna pull this guy out and we're gonna put this guy in and see if we can at least get this rig up to 11 cards instead of 12. I'd be pretty happy with two extra 2070 supers in there on an old board in this setup. So that's what we're gonna do. I went ahead and I labeled these in case I have to revert. One, two, three, four, and then that way I can plug them right back in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this guy in and then I'm just gonna hook them in one at a time and then boot into Windows and see if I can get those four all in first. Then I'll add the ninth and, or I'll add the 10th and the 11th card. Let's go. 
All right, step in the right direction. We have the splitter changed out. This is the one to six. We pulled out the one to four. And then Windows has all nine GPU showing and all nine are showing inside of MSI Afterburner as well. So now let's see here, right there, all nine GPUs. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and put in two more supers and then we're going to fill those two slots and see if Windows can pull them in. Let's go. Well, this has been a failed experiment after tons and tons of time. No matter what I do, I cannot get a 10th card to read. No matter which adapter, no matter how I try, I really think it's a limitation on this chipset. This is the H110 D3A Gigabyte motherboard. And I tried looking it up and I cannot find the amount of PCIe lanes that this board allows. I know I can easily get nine. I can get nine with this splitter. I can get nine with this splitter. But as soon as I add that 10th one back there, and if I add it into any slot, I will not get post. When I tried the M.2, I could not get that. I could post, but I couldn't get it to read. Um, and no matter what I do, I can't get a post with an additional card. If I turn this thing off and I un take out that 10th card, let's boot that down, power, and then we'll take out this extra one in the back. And now we're back to nine cards. Server power supply back on. Back to nine. Come on, there it is, post. We're going right back into Windows. Nine cards must be the limitation with the amount of PCIe lanes on this specific setup. Hours wasted, hours in the books, but hey, lessons learned. We learned something, we tried and we failed, and now we're gonna move on. We're gonna build out some other things. Nine cards it is, it's staying nine. She is pretty though. Thanks for coming along with me. Let's cut to that outro. Rom. <laughs> well, there you have it. We came, we tried, we failed. But hey, it was a great learning experience. We tried to convert our nine card rig into 12. It definitely did not work. And I have a feeling it is a limitation with the H110 uh, motherboard and the chipset that is actually applied there. But for now, we're going to run it with nine cards. And then later, we're going to swap it out with a 12 GPU BTC 250C motherboard that I've got sitting around. And that should be a fun experiment. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.